Hey everyone, Hunter Elmore here with Gravity Sketch, and today we're going to be going over a workflow to take screenshots in Gravity Sketch and export those into Photoshop for continued sketching. And for the sake of today's demo, we're going to be using a community creation asset I put together of a truck. So if you want to follow along, you can go ahead and hit your menu button, go down to your import menu here, asset library, we're going to go under 3D assets, community creations, and then we're looking for a file called truck by Hunter. In this case, it's on our second page. So we're just going to navigate to that, click it, and it'll import into our scene. Now we've got that in here, it'll come in with all of our geometry that we've already got pre-built. If I hit that blue menu button again, I can go down to my layer tab. And in there, I'll see that this is already an organized file. We have our sketch group and our surfacing group. Each of that has been broken up by interior sketch, exterior sketch, and interior surface, exterior surface. For the sake of today's video, I'm going to be taking screenshots of those surfaced layers. So I'm going to make sure that those are both turned on in the end. But we do also have these sketch layers in here. So if you're working on an earlier end model, it might look something more like this. You're trying to get those ideas out. You can also take screenshots of this for whatever purpose you need it for. Uh, but for today's video, we're going to be working on the surface parts. Now that I've got my model in here and I'm ready to start taking screenshots, I'm going to go to the blue hamburger menu button on my non-drawing hand, go to my Save tab, and this screenshot option up here in the top right will open up my camera. It's important to note that if you want these saved to the cloud, you have this toggle at the bottom set to cloud. You also get that little icon there on the camera. When I open this up, I can change my field of view by using the slider over here on the left side. I can also change the aspect ratio right here from 16.9 to 1 to 1. And this extra settings menu here will give me other options. Instant photo means that as I take a photo, it'll populate the room. If I use transparent background, That'll just take a screenshot where actual objects are visible. The background is not. Render mode allows me to kind of take away some of that graphic user interface I don't want to see. And vertical lock would make it so that if I'm rotating this camera around the room, it's actually staying vertical. It's not inclined shots. So I'm going to have that turned off because I want to get some more drama. I'm going to change this field of view and start taking some screenshots. So because I have the screenshot tool active, that viewport is live updating to my position. So it's as if I'm looking through a camera viewport. When I find a shot that I want to take, I'm going to click this camera button over here on the right. That'll take the screenshot. And because I have it set to cloud, it'll upload those files as PNGs to my landing pad. And so for the sake of a Photoshop format, let's just take a few more here and then move over onto our desktop and go to landingpad.me. Now I've moved over to landing pad and I can see immediately as soon as I log in, I have those images that I took in VR. So these are uploaded to my cloud. I can click on those and download those from here. Or if I wasn't in VR and I hadn't taken these screenshots, I could do it through my web browser. So I'm gonna go over here to the asset library, 3D assets, community creations. I'm gonna double click on the truck by Hunter file. This is the same one we imported. And I'm gonna be able to take screenshots here in this web browser viewer. And doing that is pretty easy. All I have to do is use my scroll wheel and my cursor to navigate to the view that I want. And then I'll click down here in the bottom right on this little screen capture camera icon. And this will allow me to take a screen capture of whatever I'm looking at. So if I want it to be transparent, I just have to click that on. If I want to set it to a square aspect ratio, I could click that too. But all I have to do is click capture. I can change my file name and where I place it. If I click save, now that'll upload to wherever I put that screenshot location at. In this case, that location is set to my files, which is the same place where my screenshots from VR went. So now I'm going to go ahead and make another one just to create another view from this web viewer here, hit save. And once that uploads, I can go ahead and close out of this viewer because it's not actually opening the sketch in an editable way. I don't have to worry about saving. I can go up to my files and now those new screenshots are right there next to the original ones I took in VR. And once I download those screenshots, it's really simple just to drag and drop them into a blank canvas here in Photoshop. I'm quite literally just dragging them out of my file explorer, dropping them here in place. And I can use that to combine some of these different screenshots, create a composition of a specific theme, or I can use my drawing tablet that I have connected to my computer here to sketch over top of that and do continued visualization. And so hopefully this has been a helpful video for you guys to follow along with. Now you know how to take your screenshots from Gravity Sketch and move them over into Photoshop for continued sketching. Thanks for following along, and we'll see you in the next video.